We back, boyos. Welcome or welcome back to this crazy channel. We are stepping back into the Glicken House SC S C G S G whatever. Um for the fifth week at Watkins Glen. It's a track that I love to race on and uh that doesn't quite love me back. But uh <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh taking a couple of weeks off from this series. Hi everybody. Um didn't stream the race at Fuji two weeks ago, and I'm glad because that was awful. And then I just straight up skipped last week at uh, Hockenheim because I've never downloaded the track before, and I'd heard that it was me. And after Fuji, I was kind of done for a while. But this week, this week we are here at Watkins Glen, and next week we'll be at Road America. So I'll be finishing out this series with only one absence, which, you know, given the way these weekly series go, still puts me in contention for something decent. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, a lot of big names in this series. 30 drivers tonight, so two splits. Howdy, Fred. Yeah, finishing it out with a bang. Yeah, banging into the walls. Uh, Austin Ognoski has maintained his rating above 900. Well done. Ethan Dean close second there at 876. A uh, whole lot of 800 rated drivers in here. A whole lot of people who are going to be faster than me. My ambition tonight is not last. That's, I'm, these guys are so good in this car, and uh, they've been practicing more than I have, for sure. And so, my only ambition tonight is not last. So we'll see if I can fulfill that. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> so, oh, here we go. Session should be open now. Change some things around. I had for a while a... Oh, come on. Get to close content manager, because that's a thing that we have to do now. Hopefully that won't wipe out the behavior of my wheel. I actually got my clutch pedal to work. Look at that. My clutch pedal works now for no apparent reason, but I'm not going to complain about it. I think this is the first time, like, I absentmindedly plugged my wheel in while my PS2 control, like, I have a, a gamepad that I use for just about everything that's not sim racing. And uh, I usually take that out and put the wheel in because they don't like to play nicely together. And now they are playing nicely together. And not only that, it seemed to make my clutch pedal work. So I'm never turning off my computer again. Uh, so my choice is a setup that I've only just kind of tried that came in today, and my setup from Rode... Oh no, I forgot to switch off the auto s the auto reload. Um, it's worth doing that now. Uh, so the reason I turned off my own uh, SRS skin fix is that I was developing um, custom shaders patch fixes last night. Until the wee hours of the morning. <sighs> yeah, like I, I never had the two plugged in at the same time because they always screwed each other up. And now, for whatever reason, having them both in at the same time not only works, but makes my wheel work better. I don't, I don't understand what I did. But I now have a fully working clutch pedal out of nowhere. So why, why not? That sounds good to me. Uh, let's see here. I want to get the SRS skin app up because I do think I need a few tonight. 16 custom liveries in the race. <laughs> it's going to be a nice uh, post-race. See, look at that. Look at that clutch pedal. See? It's working. It's working for real. So the other consequence of working on this stuff all night is that when I sat down to practice tonight, 
Um, I had forgotten to shift the time in the practice session back to daytime because I was, I was testing lighting, so I did it in the dark. But let me tell you, this track, having been made with CSP and Sol in mind, um, looks really good in the middle of the night. And so I did all my practicing for this race in the dark. Because, dang, it looks good. Checks a mismatch for Russell Sobey. He doesn't have the new Watkins Glen. Hope he makes it back in time. Hey, Russell, if you're watching, there's a link to the track in the description of this video. So you don't have to go hunting for it. It's also on the AC Mod List page on SRS Forum, but you know. Gene Dolmuz check some mismatch. Hey, Gene, if you're watching this video, <laughs> there's a link to the track in the description. <laughs> yeah. It looks nice. Am I going to get all the skins downloaded by the end of practice? Probably not. Yeah, it updated to version 1.1. They put in a bunch of improvements. As if this track wasn't good enough. Now it's even better. Oh, no! Hey, what's up, 95% grip? Nice. Oh, and the restart AC button works, so let's try. Is that going to work? No, it just kicks me out. So we'll join back in. <laughs> Somehow avoiding death in the Moses moment in this screenshot. I just, I still can't believe this. This is one of my favorite moments playing this game. No desktop audio. Indeed, I still have desktop audio muted. I keep doing that. Thank you. Your skin is okay. Alright, let's use this one. Let's kill that one. And we're back. Let's put in enough fuel, shall we? Actually, how much fuel am I going to need? I don't know. Excuse me. It's 3.5 a lap. Times, what are we going to get? 12 laps? Let's say 15. 52 liters. Alright. So we're going to have 62 liters. Oh. This can go away now. Let's close the calculator. 
Carter. All clear. Push now. Okay, Pasha. We've got nine minutes to settle up. So I changed the handbrake button that I had now, since I never used a handbrake, and made it a crew chief summon button. So I might use that a couple of times during the race. Seemed to work in practice. And I know I'm not going to qualify well, so that's why I have race fuel in, so I can just practice the car with race fuel in, and maybe get a good lap in somewhere along the way. As I said, I'm pretty much out of this championship. So this is just to have fun in the car. Maybe. Hopefully. I forget what the voice command is to calculate fuel. I think it's just calculate fuel for 20 minutes, right? Something like that. The understeer, the chundersteer. The grundle steer. It's driving with your butt. You see your pants. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I have I got three hours of sleep last night. <laughs> what do you want? Position. Begins to check. Nothing new. Carry on. How much fuel for 20 minutes? For 20 minutes. We should need 38 liters. Yeah. Yellow flag. Sector one is quick. Yeah, I'm going to go like forty five. <laughs> Sector two time is quick. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. One forty eight oh on my opening lap. Seventh position. Sector three is zero point three off the pace. On your right, clear right. Yellow flag, watch out. Itch on my face. Big disgrace. You're a tenth off in sector one. I'll take that. Cold tires all around. Okay, Pasha. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Yellow flag, caution. We need to find a tent in sector two. Woo! That's 
fun. Rear wang six is faster. Sector three is 0.6 off the pace. All right. That was a pretty good time. I'll use rear wang six. What's it at? Four? F interesting. Wing up goes faster. We'll see. Better speed in the corners, I guess. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. Here I am thinking I wasn't going to be competitive. I'm up with P6. What's up with that? Speed through the bus stop, sort of. Well, we'll see. Okay. Feels a bit less slidey anyway. Your right tires are cold. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. How much fuel for 20 minutes? For 20 minutes. We estimate we'll need about 39 liters, P12. Ah, there goes the lap, dang it. Okay, Pasha, we need to watch well, these this track limits. practice then. These guys are on an out lap. They're not going to make it around. Oh, jeez. That's too much curb. Oof. I don't know. I'm going to put it at five. Put this down at 48. What are the times looking like? One, so 1 1.75 minutes. So 20 divided by 1.75, that's 11. So 12 laps, okay, that's 12 laps. Would be, yeah, 30, 39 liters, are you out of your mind? All right, let's go, yeah, let's just do 45. 46. Let's do 46 liters. The pit takes it's clear. Check a flag. B13. Jeez. I didn't know P6. I'm going to be right in the thick of the war back there. Fastest lap for D, 144.8. Still be G. It's probably flustered from having to reload the track. I would be. Sobe will be starting from the back. That'll be exciting. Camilo got between Ethan and Austin.
Come back soon, Vince. Quali's almost over. Just in case I'm the last person. I don't want Vince to be shut out of the race. Nope, well, we'll see if he gets back in. That's the end of the session, P13. All right, let's do this. P14. All right, Pasha, get ready. I don't want to get, get Oh, man. All right. Well. No horn. You have lights, though. Thank you, James. I'm going to need it back here. Uh, I don't think Vince made it. Oh, yeah, he did. He's there. Good. Oh, oh yeah, you are in there. P11 now. Or wait, no. That's just because substanding gets confused. All right. 15 seconds. Come on now. There we go. Floor it. Dean. All right. You're in the middle. Oh, God. Hold your line. Clear yep. left. You're in it the middle. Three wide. Yellow flag. Hold your brake, dude. Clear left. Clear all round. Right side. Clear right. On your right. Right oh, side. Geez, I'm gonna get wiped out here. Clear right. Ignore the arrow damage. It's nothing. He ain't gonna stop. Oh, they're gonna go three wide right. and they bust up. Hold your line. Clear right. On your right. Clear right. I did not trust them at all. I just didn't want to get hit again. I gave up the position so I wouldn't get killed. Let's see how wide you can make this thing. How's the damage? No, I didn't catch that. Jeez. Clear right. You just, On your you right. Just... Clear right. Thank you so much. God, this whole series has been like this. Yellow flag. Caution. This whole series has just been one cluster F after another. All right. So much for having fun tonight. That's what, four hits now? And I haven't finished the first lap yet. Welcome to Watkins Glen, everybody. 22nd place. Come on, we can do better than this. Focus on your exits, keep it smooth. Is the car damaged? Yellow flag. How's the car? Tiny bit of aero damage, just ignore it.
team is now leading. Yellow flag, caution. P20. Whoever that was in that blue car almost killed me coming up the S's on turn on lap one. Yeeted through the bus stop, knew he was going to hit me, so I just let him through. Then I end up behind him, and he stops in my face. Ends my race before we get to the end of lap one. Oh, come on, car! I'm start Stay taking the force. Please Screw this. You're reeling this guy in. The gap's now 2.2. Even at that, I'm still catching somebody. That's good. 15 minutes remaining. 15 minutes to go. Tires are cold, watch out. New fastest lap for D, 145.4. That's one. Nice move, mate. Only six seconds to the next driver. Jeez. <sighs> well, let's see what happens. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. The guy in front is Nelson. from the guy behind. The gap's now 2.3. Already? Okay, Pasha, you're reeling. Nelson in. The gap is now 2.7 seconds. New fastest lap for D, 145.0. It's a real shame about this series because it's a really interesting car. I just had such rotten luck in these races. Watch Besides the fact that I'm not... Your lap time was at 147.1. Good lap. That's your quickest <laughs> today. I'm not exactly the best driver in this thing. But then... I don't know. I love Watkins Glen, but it doesn't love me. Yeah, Gene and I have been hanging out too long. Why are you stopping Yellow in the flag. bus stop, Diego? Okay. Right side. Play right. Well done, Mike. That must be great. damaged. We're serving a penalty or some wacky thing. 
Can't explain any of that. Oh, Killer he's off the push. wall. Another one bites the dust. Back to 17th. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Almost spun trying to avoid him. Car right, clear right. What is going on in this race? P16. We've been warned about track limits. <laughs> Who's going to warn this guy about driving into my face? left. Ten minutes to go. Okay, Pasha. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. Axel's next. is increasing. It's now 7.7. .7. Uh, half the race gone already. You've got a bit of tire wear on all your tires. The gap to Nelson behind is increasing. It's now 1.8 seconds. Let's see if we can squeeze a 146 in here somewhere. Yellow flag, watch out. Hello. That lasted a while. Not to do me any good. I don't know. You've used half your fuel. <laughs> Dean is now in the lead. Good for him. Somehow missed that wall. Hit all your apexes. Wait for the chances to come, mate. That was a 147.1. Good lap. That's your best in the session. Track limits, keep it between the lines. Is that a PB there? That's cool.
itch on my knee. That's not going to help. You've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes to go on a 146.5. Behind is increasing. It's now 8.1. Focus on the exits. We can go faster here. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. The gap ahead is now 8.6 seconds. What in the world happened to Diego? Why is he a lap down in front of me already? Oh no! Save me! Been in the lead, Jim. Your front tires are cold. Did you think so, Jim? My goodness. Yellow flag. Lap time was 147.1. Well, that's a thing. The gap in front is now 8.5. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. B-15. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Why is Gene behind me? That's your best lap in the session. We've had a cut warning. Keep it tidy. Oh, Please smash her. 146.5, nice. It's 
stuff happen, man. Mate, you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Take it easy, you've got cold tires. Our luck is rubbing off on each other. Giggity. The new fastest lap for Dean, 144.8. Dean is leading the race. The gap to Nelson behind is increasing. It's now 17 seconds. One more lap to go. Very little fuel left. Very little fuel left after I took more than you recommended, Jim. <laughs> the temptation to cut the boot was <laughs> non zero there. in front is now 7.3 seconds. Well, that was a pile of hot garbage. P15, that's it. We're done. I don't even know what to say about any of that. I just... I was out of the race on lap one. And I just drove around for 20 minutes. Passing the people who were having an even worse day than me. And that was it. <laughs> I don't even... <sighs> That's the most appalling thing of all, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> like, that wasn't even the worst night anybody had tonight. I don't know what it is about this car, man, but... This series just has brought out the worst in everybody. <sighs> Let's do the one fun thing about this replay. It really has, hasn't it? Hey, it's a livery showcase. Let's look at cool cars before we watch them get smashed to pieces. Here's mine. Fred Soderstedt design. With my decals on it. As credited on the wing. Every design by Fred Soderstedt. Yay. So that's cool. Got the guard duck on the, on the hood. Had to do that. Yeah, I got two in turn one and then got killed in the boot. Diego Cisneros, not having a good night tonight, but the livery looks good. Number 28, GTP. Uh, 
with the blue accents. Gene Dolm was the number 22. This may look remarkably similar to mine. This is another Fred creation. Very nice, though. I'm surprised Gene doesn't ornament his more, but I guess whatever. Russell Soapy made it into the race. Look at that. That's cool. He does all the cool 3D software edits on his skins. Yeah, it rolled into and it wrecked your air out. That, I mean, just this, the, this race has just been one darn thing after another. I don't remember whether this is provided or not, but look at that shark face. Uh, you know, probably an A10 uh, homage livery there. That's one of the stock ones for Russ. Here's Cesar Barria. Oh, I didn't realize he was also a GTP driver. He's in the 19. Orange accents. Where's the name over the door? There's uh, Gordon Jacobson is he in the Snagglepuss livery. That's cool. Uh, SRS TV number 70. Antonio Hernandez. That's not the guy who ran into me, I don't think. Ethan Dean, look at this. Is there a car that this doesn't work on? We have not seen it yet. Hi, Murray. How you doing? I mean, this you would this would not look out of place at like. Well, I guess it would look out of place at a blank pen event because a they didn't allow the Glicken House in, and b blank pen doesn't sponsor the series anymore. Camilo Arias in the number twenty-seven. What's up, Andres? Welcome to the stream. Look at that. These liveries look so good. I love the I love the team aspect of this. Vicente is over the number 15. He's got the magenta accents. I thought these had names over the door. I don't know why. Austin Agnosi in the number 70. Also a fighter plane inspired livery. Also has random Baltimore Ravens decals on it. Why not? Looks cool. Danger ejection seat. Look at that. <laughs> Would not want to see that in a race condition. Emiliano Videla in the number 89. Purple accented car. Very cool. Ramiro Dominguez in the number 79 with the red accents. GTP taking over the front of the field here. Where is the first tool for Forza driver? Did we, have we seen one yet? No. It's Ethan, Austin, and a bunch of GTP guys. Here's Axel Quiroz. And the number nine, Olive Oxen... Olive Oxented? Accented? John Naranjo in the blue. Is this the default skin? Must not have come down. Martin Smith in the number 44. This is a nice little... Uh, Sort of a 90s Harlequin. <laughs> Bright neon colors. That's cool. Stock number nine for James Leader. Andres Lopez, I got I got your older livery. That's weird. The new one didn't come down, I guess. Looks cool though. This is when you guys were just starting out. Oh, the memories. James Pendry also gets stuck with the stock livery for some reason, and we're back to me. All right. So there's your livery review. <laughs> I like that, Wilkie. I watched from the safety of not being there. That, was, that turned out to be an excellent choice, my friend. <laughs> uh, ooh, Simpac 911. Excellent. So yeah, let's see this start. Uh, I'm not sure how far ahead it goes all pear-shaped. I got a terrible start. Gene went up the inside, so... Oh my god. 
What's even dumber than three wide going into turn one? How about four? Somehow we made it through, but okay, let's see how this guy gets killed. Oh, was that you, James? Was this you getting killed? It is. Oh, no. What happens? Oh, somebody just not bothering to brake for turn one. Because, you know, why would you brake for turn one when there's a pack of cars in front of you? <laughs> He's completely off the brake. And he brakes a little bit. But he, he just drives right on into you. All right. Doink. And then in the melee, you get, oh, you got hit again. And then didn't hold the brake. So rolled into me. I didn't quite turn enough. And then this guy. <laughs> What's this? Who is this genius? He's seen the accident happen. Everyone stopped in front of him. Everyone is stopped in front of him. And he just drives in. Because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do that? Sure, why not? Bold move, Antonio. Really worked out well for you. Then he goes side by side with, who is this, Derek? That's Cesar, okay. And at this point, I'm like, I don't trust either one of you, so why don't you guys just take the position? Because I'm like, three wide into the bus stop. Yeah, what a genius move. Nah, I think not. I'll just, I'll just be back here. That turned out to be the worst mistake of the race. Because three turns later, it all goes bad for me again. <laughs> My feet were in the wrong place to get to the brake. <laughs> well, and you know, I, I qualified poorly and was back here with these guys and it's just it just got worse and worse. So we come up here to the heel, right? I mean, I'm full on the brakes the entire time. He just, he just stops. He, he just stops in front of me. Oh, and then, oh good. I thought this was just my fault. And then Gene punts me for good measure. That's nice. That's good. Nice, nice concertina here. And then, look at this jackass. <laughs> he, just, he just rolls back into me. So I get two contact, three contacts for this one. That's three contacts in one corner. Three incident points in one corner, because this guy stopped in my face. And then Gene had nowhere to go. And that's the race. I'm just I'm just catching back markers from then on. So screw that. Um, I'm I'm okay, I'm okay not watching any more of that. <laughs> it's just nah. I, I kind of want to be done with this. All right, let's go to the results. Uh, split two isn't even done yet. <laughs> Split 2 isn't finished yet. How is that possible? So there you go. Ethan Dean with a clean win. I think he's... Oh, he's not the only one with zero incidents, but he just scampered away. 144.8. Obscene. Uh, Camilo Arias in second with two. Austin in third. Wow. Legit third place. Outscores Camilo, though, because of the incidents. Vicente, clean fourth place. Well done, man. You've had the most rotten luck lately. And uh, there you go with a fourth place. Ramiro Dominguez in fifth. Emiliano sixth. Where is the first Where is the first finisher from Tool for Forza? Is it Martin? Russ Nelson is in here, but Alex... Where's Alex? Did he not run? I thought I saw him in Quali. That's weird. All right. I guess this race goes to GTP. <laughs> uh, let's see. John Naranjo in eighth. Andres Lopez in ninth. Russell Sobey from last to tenth. Well done. James Leader, 11th. After the first turn incident. Johnny Major in 12th. Four contacts with James. Johnny Major... Two incidents, 70 points. Axel Quiroz, 13th. Brian Picelli in 14th. Six incident points. Yep, so two for turn one. 
three more in that corner. Maybe it was four. Who knows? I just... Six incident points in, in one lap. That's, uh... That's some crap right there, is what that is. I'm not a fan of the way that went. That's, uh, that's really disappointing from everybody. Skipped a race, 53 points, I'm 16th in the standings and I'm out of it. So there you go. I just thought I was jumping into this, one, into this thing for a little bit of fun, because it's Watkins Glen in a cool car, and that just didn't happen. Ethan Dean, 76 points ahead in the championship. I think you've got this, buddy. James Leader, second. 10 points ahead of Martin Smith. Austin in fourth place, having missed a race. <laughs> China Major, fifth, Scott Walker. Not Scott Walker, Scott Warner in sixth. Uh, Emiliano Videla in seventh. Are you the highest GTP driver? You are! Emiliano, top finisher among GTP drivers in the championship so far. Well done. Consistency, Johnny. Look at that. It's it's 70s and 80s, but it's all 70s and 80s, and not a 56 twice or 53 twice like I had with a race off for good measure. Yeah, so much for this one. I don't care if it is Road America. I might just reclaim my Tuesday next week. This has just been... It's its its doubly disappointing because the tracks... Well, this track was fun, or could have been fun. It, it was a new car to me, so I was really interested in trying it out, and just every race has just been like this. All four of them have just been like this. And, uh, I don't know. Not a fan. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know it's not the organizer's fault, but, uh, something about this car seems to be bringing out the worst in people. Maybe it looks too much like a prototype. Speaking of looking like a prototype, uh, Let's see. So this is why I only had three hours of sleep last night. Let's see. Is it late at night? It is. Oh, Watkins Glen is way too big a track for me to do this at the spur of the moment. But anyway. So the PX2 Loire is a paid mod from uh, URD that I talked about last night. It's their <laughs> completely unlicensed, totally not an Orica 05. But, uh, so this is what I was doing last night. Note the, uh, instrument panel. Boop. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. Yes, folks. The dashboard now lights up. And the stickers light up. Boop. The labels on all the controls light up now. Yay. It's even better because... Uh, in its stock configuration, the taillights don't work. But now, they do. Ta-da! Taillights on the PX2 Loire. Even better, brake lights on the PX2 Loire. Yay! That took six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So, uh, let's bring Saul up here so we can shove this thing into the daytime. Yeah, how good does Saul look now, by the way? So here it is. Here's the PX2 Loire. It is an Orica 05 LMP2 car from 2015, straight up. Uh, it's fantastic. It's part of the PX pack from URD. Uh, the pack is on sale right now for like 5 euros. And it's almost worth the price of admission just for this car.
Whoopsie daisy. Nobody saw that. Okay, 11 people saw that. can't actually see the curb over the fenders. <laughs> this is not a fast time in this car, but it's fun. Ooh, I just realized something. Now that I have a working clutch pedal, I don't know how okay, to do gotcha. that. You're spinning up your ears. I am. That's kind of the point, Jim. Anyway. Yeah. How about that? A legit LMP2 car in a set of Corsa. Why doesn't anybody run this? It's been out for like three years. <laughs> uh, well, I mean... When you say I did all that, all I did was write a uh, custom shaders patch config to make the lights work. Um, I mean, it's shockingly not hard. Um, it's just kind of tedious, which is why it took six hours to figure it out. Because you have to like click all over the car and figure out which piece should actually light up. And it turns out that this model doesn't actually have a separate piece for those taillights. So <laughs> it's a bit of a hack. But what I had to do was actually create sort of a ghost light source that sits like millimeters off the back of the car that projects red light onto the car that then bounces back and looks like the glow of the taillight. <laughs> it's super hacky, but uh, it makes it so the car now has taillights. Uh, so that's cool. And yeah, it's a super fun car. It's a legit only five-year-old LMP2, so it's post-closed cockpit era, uh, post-IMSA merger. Uh, so this is, this is the car that raced against, if you notice, I've got, uh, I've got 2016, um, IMSA badging on it right now with the with the prototype class. So this is the car that ran against Daytona prototypes in in the sh just post merger era of uh, of IMSA. And this versus the IER Daytona prototype is pretty much an even fight. So uh, if you're looking to simulate 2016 ish IMSA. You can load up a bunch of the uh, IER Daytona prototypes and a bunch of these and basically just run them as the prototype class, just like the real IMSA did. So I encourage people to do that. This is a paid mod, unfortunately, so I'd, it'd be a tough sell to uh, Enrique to say, hey, let's just run P2s next season. Um, but I think uh, Mike has caught the bug at Pro Sim Racing to maybe include these in the uh, in the next PSR uh, IMSA event. So that's cool. I mean, it's a legit LMP2. Who? I mean, how does nobody know about this thing? I I just randomly found this thing when I was looking at you know stuff on URD website and they had a bunch of stuff for sale and I was like, I really honestly didn't have a lot of interest in the P1s, but it was like. The PX pack is on sale for three euros. Okay, boink. And, oh, look, there's an LMP2 in it. And it's awesome. So, there you go. Miraculously saved from accidents, Emiliano. Good job. Good stuff. Yeah? So, anyway, yeah. Oh, and uh, I spent a lot more of yesterday than I should have uh, on this livery. 
nobody's racing this car, but I'm like, I want it. I just want it to have it. So there you go. I'm actually thinking about just because the only livery it comes with is the stock just blue, like the showroom prototype version. So I'm going to maybe put out like a plain color IMSA badge delivery pack and then one with WEC badging and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, <laughs> it's like this completely hidden thing. Everybody looks at the pack and is like, oh, look, 2014 P1 cars, who cares? And then tucked away in the back is, oh, the only legit LMP2 car in Assetto Corsa. Okay, Pasha, you're locking up your fronts a lot. Oh, yeah. Crew, crew chief, it's, it's, the race is over, buddy. I'm going to shut that off. Yes, I am. That's funny. That's two, uh, that's two URD cars I could use now because I still have the, uh, I still have the Ford. I think I almost have every car that races in IMSA as a, as a number 97. So I have this one. And then, of course, there's the DP, which I think was running the Delara, right? Yep. So there's it. Oh, I don't have IMSA badging on it, though. I have the challenge badging on it. Uh, so then for prototype challenge, <laughs> prototype challenge class, there's the Orica. Then for GTLM, uh, I don't have a BMW yet. I haven't made a. I haven't made a BMW. Uh, but of course, there's a C7, which is the first car I ever did for the first livery I ever did in this game. There you go. Uh, then there's the Ford. I've got a Ford. Uh, which one? Yep, there's the Ford. Uh, Ferrari. Let's see, Ferrari GTE. Yes, I have one of those. Thanks to Fred. It's a little older, but you know. They don't have a 488 GTE yet. Uh, so let's see. I don't. I don't have the BMW. That pretty much covers GTLM. So GTD. I know I have an Audi. I have the Extra Life Audi. There's that one. Uh, I don't have a BMW GT3 either. I haven't bought the one from RSS yet. I guess I should. No, oh, I do have the old GT2. <laughs> I guess that counts as my BMW and GTLM. Uh, let's see what's next. There is no Acura. <laughs> Damn well should be. There's the Ferrari. Cool. Uh, let's see. Ford, no. Honda, there's no Honda. Oh, Lamborghini, yep. Don't I have a GT3 Lambo? Yep. Fred did this one a long time ago. Oh, uh, but it's blank pan badged. That's too. That's that's easily fixed. Uh, let's see what else races in GTD these days. Do, 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 do. Mercedes. I don't have a Mercedes. I don't have a Mercedes GT3. And why would I? When I can just run the Weeb. I mean, really, if you've got if you've got a good smile livery. Who the heck needs to draw your own? Uh, let's see. What else? Nissan GTR. I don't have a GTR, but this is like eight years old now, so sorry. <laughs> I do... Oh, I don't have an RSR. That's right. How could I forget the RSR in GTLM? I don't have one of those. But I do have a GT3. And it is, of course... Where is it? There we go. It is the meme. The meme... Yes, I went there. Well, will it? <sighs> anyway, uh, let's see, what else do we have over here? So here's the P1 pack, for those of you who have not seen this. I'm going to throw this back to you here. So they have the Audi, they have the Porsche, they have the Rebellion, and the Longboy. Surely someone has made a, uh, a GNS livery for this already. But, uh, yeah, so they have all the 2015 P1 cars, and that's cool. But then lurking in the back is an awesome P2. Uh, 
What's up, man? I'm just wrapping this thing up with a babble about how much of the IMSA grid I have liveries for already. <laughs> Some dude named Gene told you to come here. Well, thanks, Gene. Hey, Gene, what's up? Welcome to the party. We're just, I'm just babbling about how many cars I've done liveries for. Um, it's a lot. Is this on my favorites yet? It's not. So I think everything I've painted has a favorite flag on it. Yep. Doop, dee 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 doop. I've painted a few cars in my time. Oh, speaking of weeb. Yeah, I painted an X driver livery. What about it? C6, Detroit, yep, mm hmm, lots of stuff. Okay, I don't get credit for all of them because Fred painted a couple. That's true. There's my virtual challenge car. This was a fun event. Sorry for... Yeah, F this... <laughs> I don't want to be mean because I like the GTP guys, but man, this series has just been awful to both of us. It's just been terrible. Oh, there's my uh, broadcast van. That's cool. There's the commentary van for Sim Racing Online, which we never actually used. I just sort of drew it up for fun. Got some Lambos, got the Ligier JS8, uh, Maserati GT4, got the MX-5 Cup. Oh, oh that's my daughter's livery <laughs> for the MX-5 <laughs> streetcar. Yes, my daughter at nine years old is starting to get into sim racing. There's the old Macker, my favorite. The Primera, the Orica, the Porsche, the PX2. The RS01, which looks badass, but I'll probably never touch it again. Got a Radical, got the Scuderia Glickenhaus, two different Leons, the Octavia, and the Irox. So there you go. That's a whole lot of cars. <laughs> you had a good race? I didn't. Well, you didn't either. You got punted. Oh, man. Last night was fun. Tonight was just frustrating from st really from start to finish. By the way, Gene, <laughs> uh, four wide into turn one, really? <laughs> I mean, I know I got a terrible start, but my God, that was terrifying. It was you, then me, then somebody, and then Russell came up on the right. Four wide into turn one and then rolling up to an accident scene. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake. So I stopped. James got punted. That was the accident. And then I stopped and he, like, was rolling from the contact. And he just went doink. And somebody just drove right in the back of me like I wasn't there. Just boom. That's how I got six incidents. I finally figured it out. So I hit James. The other dude hit me. I hit James, other dude hit me, and we went around to the boot, and then I hit the guy, Gene hit me, the other guy hit me again, that's still only five, huh, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> this race is just awful, this whole series has just been one disaster after another, and, uh, you know, I don't. It's not GTP's fault, except when it was. Um, it's just one of those things. This car really does seem to bring out the worst in people, though. Yeah. While we're sitting on the, uh, so this is a paid mod as well, but it's the, uh, it's the uh, VRC Chevrette, which I think they intended to do, like the the IMSA road racing version of this car, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is the car they used in IROC, the actual IROC. So I made a whole set of skins for the actual 1989 IROC series. <laughs> this is on race department, by the way. So in case you want the actual cars from the opening race of the 1989 IROC series. There you go. They are in a pack on race department. Just uh, look me up. So of course as part of this I had to make one for myself. 
because clearly sim racing is about fantasy. And I will note, because I'm here showing this crap off for no reason, not only are the cars accurate, but the pit boards have contemporary pictures of the drivers. Oops, let's see, whole main screen again. Is my audio on? Yes, my audio is still on. Uh, let's bring the chat back up. Let's bring me back up. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Uh, yeah, contemporary pictures of the drivers in the uh, in the pit board. So there you go. If you want to race against the uh, people who contested the 1989 IROC season, hey, Scott Pruitt, then uh, there you go. I grew, like, th I was 10 when this season of IROC was happening, and I remember it. Like, this was the coolest racing on television. <laughs> 12 of the best drivers on Earth in identically prepared cars beating the snot out of each other around America's best courses. Like, this is... This is what I remember from this series. And uh, so, yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, that's on race department. Uh, I even made a video about it. So if you scroll back through my pre-recorded videos, I, I made a little preview for it and linked to it. So that's fun. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get P2 racing uh, onto SRS someday and uh, go enjoy stuff. You don't remember 1989? How old are you anyway? I can't remember which one of us is older. We talked about it once. <laughs> I was 10. I remember 1989 very well. I'm deaf older. What's that, Sonny? <laughs> You were six. Okay, well, there you go. Now I know when to mail order you uh, a thousand black balloons for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well. Is it weird when the post-race is better than the race itself? <laughs> Oh, man. Man, I've done a lot of... This is this is just the list of cars that I've painted. That's crazy. And it's not even all of them, because some of these I've painted multiple versions. Like the TCR here. I have a whole pack on... Also on Race Department. I have a whole pack... Remember when Daniel Yunkadea was like doing SRS series. Anybody remember that? It was last year, maybe end of 2018, but I think it was in 2019. Danny Yunkadea was like, I'm going to sponsor some series on sim racing systems. Like, what? And uh, so as kind of a nod to that, let me go back to whole main screen here. I started painting... Because one of them was that he would he would just drop into daily races of the Seat. So I was like, okay, challenge accepted. So these are all liveries of real race cars that Danny Yunkadea has driven. So this is his 2016 DTM car. This is his 2014 uh, Force India because he was a he was a test and reserve driver for Force India in 2014. So that was cool. Uh, let's see, 2015 blank pen, 2016 blank pen, and not his. Uh, there's some more in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. So yeah, that's his first DTM ride in 2013, 2014, 2015. Yeah, there you go. So these are all in a pack on race department as well. I never got done. I had ambitions to do like some of his more recent stuff. But 
he left SRS and the motivation just wasn't there anymore. Um, okay. <laughs> so I'm not with us, but I'm like, huh? What? Uh, but yeah, the next car on the list was like the uh, the Jackie Chan LMP2 <laughs> that had like all kinds of crazy designs on the fin. And I'm like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> like, nah, I'm good. So I just, that project just sort of petered out. But yeah, like disregarding all the cars that I've painted for myself, there's also the ones that I painted for other people. Uh, when SRO had their championship, I painted like four other people's cars. Uh, so there's this one. What? No, that's not right. Where's the championship one? Oh, here we go. So I did that one. And then I did this one for myself. I became like the team livery painter for Flying Crowbar Racing, which is a bunch of cool guys. That was that was a fun one. These two are cool because it kind of reminds me of the GTP ones, actually. Let me bring this up again. Hope you don't mind me taking this trip down livery lane. So this was a uh, team cars for Flying Crowbar. And uh, the cool part was... All I did for these two was flip the white and the gray, and it turned out to be, turned out to work. So that was fun. Uh, yeah, I remember that too. He used, he also used to run the Seats a lot. I think it might be the actual Sam Bird. But I can't, obviously can't be sure. But yeah, he used to do a bunch of stuff too. I think I actually drove against him in one of the uh one of the Seat TCR races. He had his own livery too. Like it wasn't the Ferrari livery obviously, but but yeah, I think that was when he was on the uh WEC Ferrari GTE team, right? Yeah, he was he was good enough that it's plausible that he was the real Sandbird. So, you know, but yeah, these guys are pretty cool. And uh, the livery design is actually supposed to be like the gray part of the livery is supposed to actually look like a crowbar. And then you've got the uh, the red and blue stripes to match their logo on the hood. So this was a fun project. And somehow I like became their livery painter for SRO for a while, which was fun. You can tell how much I minded that role. <laughs> it was such a burden. I mean, such an excuse to do what I was going to do anyway. <laughs> uh, Jason Plato. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I actually got into a race with Danny Uncadeo when he was still doing uh, stuff on SRS. Obviously got smoked, but it was... Just cool to be on track with him. Now I just get star truck, starstruck whenever I'm in a race with Ethan. Because, I mean, he's been in the race of champions now, so... I'm just glad he doesn't, he's not too good for us now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've made the big time. Wow, that's a lot of cars. <laughs> Crazy. Ooh, James Baldwin on SRS. Can you imagine? Can you imagine when he just starts out and has a zero rating and he gets stuck in like split three on the dailies? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be great. He's got to do like a video series of it just starting on SRS with a zero rating. See how far he can get in a week of just running the hourlies. 
<laughs> in like Split 3. Oh man, I would watch that. I would I would totally watch that all day long. <laughs> I've seen GM uh and random call sign used to do a bunch of stuff, but they don't seem to either they're not on as much anymore. Or I mean, they've always been in the wrong time slot for me. And the last time I ran a race against random call sign, he punted my ass right off the track. <laughs> Dunk! It was a MX5 cup race. <laughs> it just sent me flying. <laughs> it was at Donington, because of course it was. That tends to happen, doesn't it? Oh, well. Anywho. He did a really, he, he did a couple of really fun, uh, just sort of open server events on, in LA Canyons. We had, he had like a King of the Hill thing where we all just gathered around one of the parking areas and they just drove into each other with damage off. That was, uh, it was actually a pretty fun idea. <laughs> Uh, anyway. So, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess the race is over. <laughs> the post-race has been way more fun than the event. That race was just awful. And, uh, I hate to harp on it because it's no fault of anybody who put it on, but my goodness. I, I don't feel like I've gotten any chance to see what this car can actually do. Because I'm constantly just getting hit. And I was like, I don't actually know how good I am against this competition because I've never been allowed to compete. <laughs> oh, well. At least the one at Fuji was my own dang fault because I didn't put fuel back in the car after quali. That was just me being dumb. I can accept that. It happens a lot. <laughs> anyway... It's late. I didn't sleep last night, so... Darn you, PX2 Loire, keeping me up all night. I'll probably finish this up tomorrow. Do the preview graphic, put out a put out a uh, skin pack for three different series. I actually set the template up here so I can badge it for any series. So, like, I have the, the IMSA badging on it now in its own layer group. So I can just turn all that off and all the IMSA related stuff, like all the sponsors and everything just blanks out. And there's a separate set of WEC badges that pops in. And then there's a set of ELMS badges that I can pop in. I need to finish setting all that stuff up. So that's cool. Anyway, it's late. Me tired. I should go to bed. I probably won't. But I should. At least knowledge is half the battle. The other half is getting off your ass and doing it, right? So. Eh. I do, I guess, need to start thinking of what to do for next season. Gene, are you in for next season or are you going to go play ACC? I'll have to think of something else. I mean, I obviously picked the content of this season, so it would be your turn. Uh, anyway, otherwise I'm just going to go <laughs> Formula NA, yes. That's uh, that's a good choice, honestly. <laughs> Too bad it's a paid mod, but honestly, who didn't buy it? Look at this car, man. Seriously. How amazing is this car? It's so fun. I feel like I never get the chance to drive it. I drive it on my own. Like after after these events, sometimes I'll log off and just load up yet another race in like the Chevrette or this or whatever. They've run lots of RSS stuff, but not paid. I think the last paid, I mean, they, they got into the DRM Porsches for a while. 
and they did the 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 VRC chevrette, but they also wrangled a discount code for it. So, if he can get a discount code for people to buy the Formula NA, then heck yes, we should run an oval series with this car and just watch the t- run an oval series, turn incidents off. <laughs> <laughs> just watched it watch it go nuts they did run the RSS GT1 like a long time ago and it is expensive I mean the amount of work that went into it though it's like seven different cars with a bunch of liveries how many were in that pack uh, where did it go? Don't they all sit together on the list? It's like... Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's only six. But still, like, the detail on these things. And they're all completely different, and they have different physics, and they have a gajillion liveries each. I mean, the amount of work that went into this pack is significant. Yeah, I'm looking forward. Uh, hopefully, this will be all this crap will be settled down enough by August. I hope that I can go to VIR. That would be great. But I'm not. I'm not hopeful. <laughs> I mean, I am hopeful, but I'm not expecting a lot. My dear countrymen seem to be far too interested in turning the health and welfare of the nation into a battle of ignorance <sighs> but oh well yeah I love going to VIR it's such a pretty place like picture the, the broadcast does an okay job of showing in general what it looks like but there's nothing like standing on the top of that hill at a roller coaster or standing up under the tent in turn four, looking out, looking back up the track at NASCAR in turn two. Because you can actually stand up on that hill that's like where the snake starts. You can stand up on the top of that hill and see all the way across turn three and two and one to the start finish line. You can actually watch a car cross the start finish line, go through turn one, turn two, up to NASCAR to do the left, left, right into the snake and power down the power up the snake to the Nissan bridge. And you don't, you, all you do is turn. All you do is turn your head and you can watch half the track. It's amazing. Oh, I want to go back so bad. Plus, I got to drive on it last year, so that was fun. They had like a parade lap thing you could sign up for. So I actually got to drive my car. On VIR. I still can't shut up about it. It's been a year now. <laughs> There's nothing like throwing your real car in a hog van. I've done that. I've actually done that and lived to tell the tale. It was neat. It was a parade lap. It wasn't a hot lap. But still, the guy driving at the front was in a uh, Huracan. So he wasn't... Uh, he wasn't wasting a whole lot of time. <laughs> he was letting people stretch their legs a little bit. I was actually held up by a guy in a Mustang. I was like, move! Want to go faster! Anyway. <laughs> oh, go down to Thruxton. Oh. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know how good the... Uh, the AC version of Thruxton is, but having run on it in a variety of cars, I'm like, no. <laughs> so scary. Uh, I've never gotten that break point right getting back into the stadium section from the long, like, crazy flat-out sweepers that are part of the test. That was supposed to be just a test track, and they just run races on it anyway. Uh, uh. Thruxton is another one of those, did you know this track was built on an old World War II airfield? Yes. 
anyway. It's cool to just sit here and chat about cars, huh? Pretty neat, this hobby of ours. I need to get some real-life cars driving again. Still got my mom's Carmen Ghia sitting in my garage. Need to get that back to the service station and get the get its get its uh, reconstruction finished. Steering rack's a little wacky, and it's still draining power for no reason. So the battery keeps going dead. Not real sure what's going on there, but it's a one owner ish, because I mean I've now inherited it. It's one family owned from 1971. So that that car is kind of what got me into cars. I don't know. Do I have a picture of it? I probably do. Now we're really wandering into ramble territory. <sighs> uh, cars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's the car show. Do I have a picture of just the car? Yes, I do. I do indeed. You guys ready for this? That vehicle is sitting in my garage right now. Nineteen seventy one Volkswagen Carmagia, one owner. So yeah, I want to get her back on the road and uh, obviously not daily drive it, but maybe weekly drive it. <laughs> there is a Cars and Coffee that meets in Richmond uh, every two weeks. So once the Rona is over, maybe I can start driving this up there again. It's This is one of those cars like... There are a lot of cars that are faster. Pretty much every car in the universe is faster than this thing. But you can't get behind the wheel of this car and drive it without a smile on your face. Like, there's something about it. Just, like, it's magic. You get it, and you get in it, and you start it up, and you drive it, and it's just, like, it's the best thing ever. You know, all of, what, 50 horsepower? <laughs> But it's just it's just magic. This car got me into cars. Cause I mean, it's older than me. It's always been in the family. Yeah, mom bought it new in seventy one, kept it ever since. It's pretty great. And it actually won this is this show is uh Classics on the Green. It's actually hosted by a winery here in Virginia. And uh we we got this car restored. Uh, we didn't, like, go, like, super showroom or whatever, although the guy kind of went nuts and did even more than we could really afford. But <laughs> So we were like, ah, oh, sure, we'll enter it in the show, and we just straight up won the show the first year we went out there. Uh, so that was funny. There's a great picture of my dad holding the bottle of wine that came with the trophy, and he's like, this is the most expensive bottle of wine I've ever paid for. The, the bottle was given to me in exchange for a restoration bill on a car that I'm going to be paying for for the next God knows how long. But anyway. Yeah, so this is this is sitting in my garage. I need to get it running again. Because, uh, dang, it's fun. That's a fun show to go to, too. Classics on the Green. Anybody uh, living in Virginia area, which I guess is pretty much nobody on this channel right now. But, uh... But yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> so yeah, good night, Emiliano. Well done. Uh, you had a you had a good uh, good run tonight. You managed to avoid all the crazy. I did not avoid all the crazy. Uh, craziest of all is the fact that I'm still awake right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go fix that. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Wow, 14 likes already. How'd that happen? 
And there are only seven of you sitting here. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to head out. Thanks, everybody, for coming out and uh, racing tonight. Uh, GTP, thanks for another interesting event, even if I didn't have a good... F- even if I didn't particularly have fun, lots of other people did. And that's the point. So uh, we'll try it again sometime. And uh, I'll be back Thursday for the Ferrari race at where? Where are the Ferraris? Is this their week to be at Road America? I think it is. I think. Maybe. Yes. Ferrari 488 GT3 at Road America. What could be better? Well, Johnny, I'll tell you what could be better. BTCC at Brands Hatch next Monday. (laughs) (laughs) So stay tuned for that as well. And, of course, we have the Audi America at at, uh, at Laguna Seca in between. So that's fun. I'm going to head out of here. Thanks for for staying up with me tonight. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Good night, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Me tired, you Jane. See y'all later.